I'm out on the trails again. This time uh, in the lovely Kielder water up in Northumberland. And I'm about to take part in the Kielder Dark Skies Marathon. So it's a full lap of Kielder water and it's just over a marathon in length. I think it's about 43 kilometres. And it's run at night. The idea being, of course, is that you can see the beautiful dark skies that there are up in this part of the world. Unfortunately, not much chance of this today. This morning it was absolutely beautiful. It was a wonderful morning. Really sunny skies, no wind, beautiful and calm, absolutely lovely. But of course, at race time, no chance. The fog is <laughs> really, really heavy rain, so we're going to get very, very wet. Um, but you know what? I'm doing it with my two lads, Adam and Sean, and we'll have a good laugh. And there'll be lots of other nice people, I'm sure, en route that'll keep us going. But yeah, I think it's going to be quite challenging. Whew. So, right, down to the start. Come on. Okay, coming up to 6k, uh, the rain's just about holding off so far, a bit drizzly, but actually really nice, cool conditions for running and no wind. How are we all feeling, Adam? How are you doing? Yeah, doing good. Yeah. Doing good, not bad. Is that, is that the best you can say? Uh, I'm not a YouTuber. You <laughs> mean you haven't got the blag? You haven't got the, haven't got the blag? Yeah. Come on, man, you got to learn it. got to learn it. Now gone through, uh, don't know about 13, 14k I think. Uh, and it's getting dark. I haven't put my head torch on yet, but I should be doing really. Feeling pretty good at the moment. Uh, but any idea is that this trail is flat? Totally not true. But it should be the first checkpoint too, I think. Looking forward to that. We've reached the dam wall, uh, probably coming up for about 17k. Uh, yeah, what can you say? Quite interesting running in the dark on the trails. Uh, the weather is, but it certainly feels quite cool. Across in here we've got the wind just coming across us, it feels a bit cool, but no really heavy rain yet. And yeah, feeling kind of okay about coping so far. They try and get a couple of gels down me, I think or a gel down me when I get to this checkpoint. We're just approaching checkpoint two, uh, just under 18 kilometers. I'm not sure where checkpoint one was but anyway approaching it now. 
So we've just come through halfway. Um, rain's starting to fall a bit more heavy now. Um, yeah, my legs are starting to feel it for the first time. But just gonna keep chugging away, chugging away. Easy half done. <laughs> Easy half done, yeah. <laughs> Right, there's no need to adjust your television set. I'm here in a hot tub with a cup of tea. So let me tell you about the last part of the race from where I think I last filmed, which was at checkpoint three, which is about 30 kilometers in. So after that point, uh, the weather took a turn for the worse, I would say, and the rain definitely got a lot more heavy and persistent. So it meant that the last sort of 15K of the race were definitely quite challenging. Um, and yeah, we found it difficult. You know, just to keep going, keep warm, keep motivated. But it was absolutely chucking it down with rain. I have to say, the marshals at the checkpoints did a fabulous job because <laughs> it can't have been very pleasant for them in the heavy rain that there was. They had some better sort of tent up, but it can't have been very easy. They did a great job. Um, and yeah, no doubt they were very, very pleased by the time we'd finished. We were pretty wet. Um, but the venue was great one of the TPs, it meant that when we finished, we were inside, could get warm fairly quickly. Um, it was that sort of a night where, as soon as you stopped running, you know, you very, very quickly start to cool and get chilled. So yeah, we were very grateful of the uh, nice finishing area uh, at the event. So how would I sum up the Kiel de Dark Skies Marathon? Um, I think first of all, I have to say it is challenging. No doubt about that at all. You might get the idea that because you're running around the reservoir, it's going to be fairly flat. Well, it isn't flat. There are very, very few flat sections. Uh, most of the time it's undulating. You know, you're either going up, down, around some corners. Um, and actually I think there was just under 700 meters of ascent on the course. I mean, that shows you that it certainly isn't flat at all. So in that sense, definitely more challenging than you might think. And then there's the area that you're running. I mean, it's a beautiful area to run in. You know, some lovely forests, you know, a bird song that I'm pretty sure you can hear now on this video, lovely bird song. And when we did it last night, although it was raining heavily, there was no wind. So there was just a lovely quietness of, uh, of to the area when you're running through it, really nice. It's also something about running at night that makes it completely different to running in the day. Um, and I suppose what's enjoyable is on some of the sections, particularly on the inlets where you're, where you're sort of doubling back on yourself, is you see the great big long line of head torches. You know, so although sometimes you feel sort of quite isolated out there, you know you're out there with lots of other fellow people. So yeah, that was, that was quite nice. Um, and then the terrain that you're running on, it's, it's compacted gravel all the way around um, and it's just fabulous to run on really nice surface get good grip and um, I also didn't feel the fatigue um, in my legs in my hips oh there we are hot to mum um, that you normally get on a long run like that so that was that was really great too and finally the great thing about these events is the for these are people that you meet um, and Trail Outlaws are, are great at putting on really relaxed the challenging events but there's a lovely relaxed atmosphere about them it, it feels really non-competitive you know people are out there just to have a good time to do whatever goals that they've got without any pressure on them and it's and it's really well supported you know the, the, the structure that they've got in the events is fabulous so yeah it just made an all round it's been an all round lovely weekend uh, for myself and the family 
So, could I recommend this run 100%? You've got something a bit different, a bit of nighttime running in a beautiful area, well organised event. It's absolutely fabulous. Right, I'm finishing my tea. Ugh. I'm going to enjoy this up to for another 10 minutes. <laughs>